people, my name is Rage, and welcome one and all to Holy Potatoes, a weapon shop, yes! Alright, I'll take vitamins if that's you trying to imply I'm not healthy, Bulk Boken. Are you trying to say something, Bulk Boken? Do you want to go, Bulk Boken? Do you want some of this? I wait! No, he's based off someone who would probably um, annihilate me. I'll take vitamins, sir! I'm sorry. As I was saying, you guys very much wanted some more episodes on this, and, well, I very much wanted to make them, so why the hell not? Let's potato! We continue our quest to find the fabled tentacle sword. I believe it has to exist. So we basically gotta get two heroes to max level, and I can handle this. I can, I can make it so. Let us make a short bow so that you know this is the way to go. We will give it to that bro, and he will be feared throughout the land of Bo. Po. So. It was going well, but I was let down at the end. So we want some more accuracy. Who do we want to give it? Stevie Flounder. Niking it. Liking it. Ooh, poor Tanner. <laughs> All right, let's, let's give it to our freelance here. I mean, it's going to cost us a very, very pretty penny here, but 96 accuracy, that should be worth at least a break even. But the main advantage here is that it's going to really pump him full of levels. We're going to give him this bow, and we're going to pump him full of levels. That actually sounds very invasive, like, lie down on this table, let me strap you in. Prepare to be pumped with levels. Let's not think about that. Where would the pumping even happen? No, see, it's brain. Brain. Calm down. Calm down. All right, so level pumper. <laughs> Behold my mighty bow, level pumper. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, good. I cannot wait for him to wield it. I... I'm excited. I really am. All right, Lara Craft, let us get your merchanting on. I'll wait to see what happens once we get the levels up, because I imagine we'll have a whole new quest, a new fantastic weapon to make. And she is ready. Who are we going to get? Yay! 1,600. So we technically make a little bit of money. That's at least something we got going for us. So he's going to be level 10. Lovely. Laura Craft. Noob Village. Boom. Ah, it's worth every such. Weapon rating A. Um, Mr. Alwyn Greenwood, do you enjoy being pumped with levels? I mean, I'm not going to judge whatever your potato self is into, but, you know, wink, wink, nudge, nudge. Okay, back into designing. Uh, good morning, how has the blacksmithing been coming along? There's no one here. Where is that silly spud? No. Under the desk! <laughs> ah, yes, I've been training in the art of hiding. It's great, it's awesome, everything is awesome! Everything is cool when you're part of a team! <laughs> oh, I like these guys' relationship, they got a cool dichotomy. I know, we have been really, really going for it. He might not act like potato, but he definitely forges like potato. Okay. I wonder then how we get into really complicated weaponry. Okay. Alright, I never met him. You know, I wish I had. He sounds like a really cool potato. If there's one thing I know, guys, it's how to identify a cool potato. Let me know, actually, in these episodes. Do you want me to read every conversation panel, or do you want me to generally kind of breeze through them? I don't really know which one to do, so I'm kind of doing half at half at the moment, not knowing what you want. What do you mean, if I had a gun by earlier? Nothing gotta run by! I'm really good as Smith as Grandpa was. Unlock Murky Mizo Marshes. All right, we've got some uh, fame. So I assume the Murky Marshes are going to be one of these. That looks marshy. Ah, Murky Marshes is locked. We like to expand the business and sh Okay, yeah, let's do it. How do I unlock with one ticket? Yay, there we go. Let's have a look at that. Sounds good. Boom! I am the mission master! Send a smith to explore the Murko Marshes. Murky Misos. Murky man Manners. The Marshes. We're just gonna call it the Marshes. You see a little girl crying behind the roadside. She's lost and hungry and wants to go home. Where is, like, just chop her potato self up and have roast potatoes for dinner? That's actually probably cannibalism. 
in the potato world now that I think about it. Someone who really enjoys eating potatoes would have a field day here. Help her find her parents. Yay, all right. I am the choice of fate. Achoo, everyone's in bed with the flu and that means not much fighting is going on. Aw, that sucks. All right, so explore. The murky marshes. So they're all level one explorers. Okay, so who do we, we'll, we'll send Bulk. We'll send Bulky out for now, going out for a walk. There it is. So the real question is, uh, how do I go about hiring a new employee? What have you found? Some new materials. Rusty hand axe, rusty arrowhead. Epic in this area. Ooh, look at you doing good. I'm liking that. Woof, 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 woof. Wait, why am I pant, pant, pant? Don't take that out of context. I feel like if someone walked past you just to listen to a dude going, woof, 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 pant, pant. <laughs> like, what the hell video are you watching? Who's there? What do you want? Oh, it's a potato dog. Oh, my God. It's a potato dog. Pant, pant, bark, snuffle, snuffle, sniff, wine, bark, bark, whoop. Yo, snuffle, snuffle, sniff, wine, bark, bark, woof. I'm the potato mutt and I'm here to stay. I'm gonna make weapons and help you all day, so get out of my way. This is, he's a nice down to earth potato dog. Well, I don't know. You are pretty cute. The Smiths seem to like you too. Yay! Oh, we get to name it. All right, we'll name our potato dog. I feel like the obvious name is Spud, but I feel like we shouldn't do that. What shall we call our potato Dog. Destroyer of Woe. It's gonna be worlds, but I guess that doesn't doesn't quite match up. How about <laughs> Lawyer of Worlds? <laughs> yes, this dog represents us in uh, legal court cases. Okay. Oh, I'm gonna call him Roast. <laughs> Roast the potato dog. There are many potato dogs like you, and you shall be mine. Uh, roast the potato dog. I kind of like that. Oh, that's a shame. Oh, look, yeah, he's in the smithy now. Feed me. I don't care about feeding you. Sell weapons to deliver 1,050 XP bonus to heroes. All right. A group of post-apocalyptic survivors are asking for your help. They don't have much time before the horde catches up. All right. Oh, a pale figure with long hair crying in the corner. Someone shines a light at her too late. Damn you, the witches. Damn you. Ooh, a brand new Cyclops strip. The late craze in gaming technology. Try a cinematic. Ah, oh, you ask yourself in horror universe and find yourself fleeing from everything in panic. Help! Well, I'm not doing very well, am I? That's kind of really sucky. All right, how do I... How do I do some... Research then. I feel like I kind of should be doing that. Oh, I imagine uh, research will be one of these when we get it. So I guess for now we just gotta get some dagger on. Everyone seems to be liking it. We want some speed. Can we employ the best? We very well can. Stevie Flounder, off you go. 127 speed. That is some quality craftsmanship right the hell there. So is this dog just going to take up one of the potato things on the uh, floor? Because if so, can I terminate? Oh, the dagger. I thought that was the option for the dog then. I thought you could just straight up brutalize your pooch. Alright. What shall we call this weapon? Better than yours. So that way, right? Better than you. <laughs> What weapon do you wield there, fine sir? Oh, better than you. That's a little bit insultive. I just asked you what weapon you're dealing with. Yeah, better than you. Okay, no, that's, you know, you're going to make me angry. I might have to, I might have to duel you right here. Just tell me what the weapon, it's better than you. All right, draw your weapon, you son of a bitch. Have at you. We are going down. And, you know, I like to create that kind of chaos between adventurers. I think it's only fair. All right. Of course, our merchant in training, about to get to level 3, which is kind of nice. Who are we going to sell? A 1900 Stephen Steelmany. Nice. What a name for a thief. Okay, we're going to make quite a nice bit of money there. Nice! A real lifesaver. That is how we do. And back to the weapon attack. Oh, wow, we're already 73% into that. 
Cook your own nuts over the enchanting stove. Order in! Ah, let's order in. Oh. <laughs> Damn it! I tried my best. Uh, I try. Oh, yeah, this down here will be research. So I guess we'll unlock research in due course. Alright, let's make a bow now then. Market day! And expect an influence of customers, but I won't really be going there, so that's not as necessary. Alright, Portana. Make this thing the most accurate bow in the world. Wow, 161. I'm not sure that's entirely worth it, though, because we didn't get much of the other stuff. So maybe this will backfire. Maybe it's a backwards-facing bow. You see a gentle potato in a top hat talking with his apprentice outside. Could it be Professor Stanford and Fluke Spudton? There are still potatoes who wear top hats in this day and age. Yay! Smiles and imparts these words of wisdom. A true gentle potato leaves no mystery unsolved. Awesome! That is how you do it! Okay, a short bow. Let's call it Blur the Bow. You know, it's a nice little bit of alliteration. It's a very, very just, fast, accurate bow. I could see that working. Alright, who's a fan of Blur then? see what's going on. Laura Craft, level 3 merchant. I assume raising merchant levels increases their effectiveness at being a merchant. A plumber with a red cap. Eat the red one! Oh. He later clogs your toilet. That is one son of a bitch. Oh, we are actually going to get 2k from this. So this is awesome. This is going to complete the objective pretty soundly. And then hopefully the reset. Oh, our first S! What a masterpiece! Blur the bow! Thank you very much, my friend. Hey! Hey, Agent, how you doing? Good, let's pretty busy there. Quick question. What is it? Do you like poetry? He, my planet's genius. This silly but loves singing. Softening the blow of static exhaustion through a song is perfect. Damn you, Agent 46. I mean songs? No, like this one. From that show. Alice in Spudderland. <laughs> I do like their conversations. Uh, you came here today, collect on my 99.9% .9 ownership. What does that mean? I own 99.9% .9 of the shop, remember? Yes, don't you think I should be getting something in return? So that's what I'm here for today, to get my something in return. I don't really have a lot around the shop if you own everything anyway. Ah, but you have all the starch from the weapon sales. That's what I want, specifically 500. Okay, that seems a little bit unfair. We had an agreement, you know, bonds, equities, that sort of complicated stuff. I hope that we get our revenge on uh, Agent 46. I really do. Oh, it's just, I've got tons of contracts to fulfill today. I'm just done with your cut. Yay! Snatch. <laughs> Where's fast? <laughs> oh, yay, we did it. Oh, that's easy. Start getting ready for the next cut of the profits. Wow. That is really upsetting. That is really upsetting. All right, let's go on and explore then. We'll explore here. Bulk Bogan, off you go. And I kind of want to unlock the Tower of Root Beer. What is this? That's, oh, that's us. So yeah, we want to go to the Tower of Root Beer. Ah, oh, it's five tickets to unlock. I feel cheated. I just feel cheated. Okay, we have enough money to make things happen, so that's nice. Oh, we found a flashy nut. I do like flashing nuts. We're going to pretend that I didn't say that. And uh, we are going to pretend everything is in fact okay. Don't question it and don't quote me on that. So here we go. Research. So let's combine that with that. That looks an impressive axe right there. Oh, that makes a cool looking bow. Okay, that is gonna be cool. So who's going to research then? Oh, he seems to be fantastic at research. Let's do it. I'll figure this... Okay! There's a portal of fate behind my bookshelf. I am okay with that. That totally makes sense. I, I love having portal of fate behind my bookshelf. I am so confused, but I think in a world of potato smiths, if you're confused, you should probably just accept it. We can now forge the silver bow. Awesome. All right, let's give it a go. And we have the materials to do so. That noise freaked me the hell out. I'll be real with you. Forge an axe. 
forge an axe. You want me to forge an axe after finding the world's coolest bow? I am upset with you right now. That seems silly. A short potato with a dark bob is really critical of some of your Christmas clothes. Uh, she has a great eye for design, though. It must be Edna Code. Ask her if she's Edna Code. She flips her and gives you some tips on design. Awesome. So, assuming the rat race. Ah, it's the race! <laughs> oh, what a film. Boom. Okay, ooh, we actually got a relic. That's probably very good. Can we do any research? We can. Okay. Oh, yeah, there we go. Look at that. A double-bladed badass of an axe. That is how we do it. So we'll wait for that to get researched, then we will forge the hell out of it. In the meantime, maybe can we shop? Oh, we can't shop for items there. We must only shop in Noob Village, so I actually can't buy that much stuff there. So I guess we'll just see if we can make the axe as soon as it's forged, and then it's going to be the crowning glory of the shop and of this episode, I do believe. What is this? Contracts. Oh, look at that. The Broad Axe. I've got good feelings about this one. You could say the appeal of this axe is going to be broad. Oh, ho, ho. here we go. And we can Oh, we can't make it. Damn you, iron. I knew I should have just bought some. I knew it. All right. Oh, wow. We actually really can't afford that many things at all. In fact, that, that kind of sucks. Let's feed it. Turn fishing. Yeah, let's feed it. Oh, wow. Okay, that is really useful, because now we can afford someone to boost the hell out of this axe. Pale sparkly potato. Plus shyly. Yes, it actually works for once. And we get plus attack on bulk bogan, which is going to make this axe even better. I am excited to craft this masterpiece. A potato girl giggles as her friend, a large potato in a deep sea exploration suit, lumbers in. He breathes heavily, eyes glowing yellow. Do you drink sugar, pepper, Noah, Mary? Yay! Oh, even more attack! This is gonna be one hell of a weapon. Unfortunately, I can only get Beagle Brown in, which kinda sucks. We're just gonna have to basically make it ourselves. So it could be... Could be good, but I don't know. Yeah, it's not gonna be. I mean, at least the axe itself is uh, gonna be impressive, because it does look cool. Alright, we're gonna call this axe broad edge because of its broad appeal broad but short just like some people you know ha 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 this axe seems like it's overcompensating for its length again just like some people that i know get a hero to level 20 all right let's sell this glorious glorious axe i'm really hoping someone wants a decent amount of money because we kind of need it uh, 1100 for a non-massively boosted axe I, that's that's not bad honestly that is not bad. Do we have any combination left? No, unfortunately, we do not. All right, so I think that'll do for today's episode then. Ah, an A rating as well. So actually, I'm kind of impressed with that. But yeah, there you go, guys. That'll do for our holy potatoes today. I kind of really enjoyed this. It's just very nice and relaxed moving on through the world of making swords. Uh, let me know what you thought. Please remember to like if you've enjoyed it. Keep it going strong and subscribe for more. Pins a note to the front of your shop. It asks for a golden mace. Let's make it. Oh, well, I don't know what I expected, really. Oh, good. Why?